Number two, letter A. When rebuilding her car's engine, a physics major must exert 300 newtons of force to insert a dry steel piston into a steel cylinder. What is the magnitude of the normal force between the piston and the cylinder? All right, so first question is, um, in order to answer this, we have to know whether we're talking about static or kinetic frictional coefficients. And it sounds like uh, she's exerting 300 newtons of force to insert a dry steel piston into a steel cylinder. It sounds like she's... Um, Motion is occurring. That's what it sounds like to me. Um, it sounds like she has already overcome the static frictional force and it is being inserted. Uh, so therefore, the kinetic frictional coefficient is what is important. Okay. So uh, what they gave us is they gave us the uh, uh, frictional force, right? So the frictional force was 300 newtons. We now need the coefficient of kinetic friction. And if we go to our table, we got to look up steel on steel on... Oops, steel on steel dry. Right, so here it is. And we look up its coefficient of kinetic friction, 0 0.3. So that's the value. Let me just change the color, sorry. The 0 0.3. And then in order to find now the uh, normal force, right, we can relate these three variables via this equation. The uh, kinetic frictional force right, is equal to the coefficient of kinetic friction multiplied by the normal force, F sub n. So the kinetic frictional force was 300 newtons. The coefficient of kinetic friction was 0.3 multiplied by the normal force. So simply just divide out the 0.3, right? And the math works out now, the normal force is 1,000 newtons. Okay, that takes care of letter A. Now let's take a look at letter B. What is the magnitude of the force, uh, sorry, what is the magnitude of the force? What is the magnitude of the force would she have is that even, is that just me or is that right English? What is the magnitude of the force would she have? What force would she have to exert if the steel parts were oiled? That sounds better to me. All right, so what force are we looking for if they were oiled? So steel on steel oiled now. Um, again, we're going to be st still talking about inserting, so therefore the still going to be looking at the coefficient of kinetic friction. That's 0 0.03 this time, so it has decreased by a factor of 10. Now... Uh, what do we know? So the normal force is going to stay constant, okay? So the normal force will be the same. It's still a thousand newtons. The coefficient of kinetic friction now is 0 0.03. And we'll, what we're looking for is the um, frictional force, right? Now we should expect this frictional force to be less, right? And uh, let me do F sub K for the frictional uh, force, the kinetic frictional force, okay? So that is equal to question mark. So the formula stays the same, right? The kinetic frictional force is equal to the coefficient of kinetic friction multiplied by the normal force. So the uh, kinetic frictional force will equal 0 0.03 multiplied by 1,000. And here we see that, yes, it does. It decreases, right? The, what does this work out to be? 30, 30 newtons, right? So it's a a fraction, it's 10, right? What did I say? It said it decreased by 10 times. Look, it's 30 here, right? And before it was 300. All right, so that should take care of it. This is letter B. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Hopefully this helped. Please remember to subscribe. Until next time.